Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Giving praise, glory, and honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Barbara Patterson. And when I say our, I could not possibly do this without my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, who leads my life, who guides my life, whom I love with my whole heart, who I trust with my everything. I'm available. I'm a vessel used of God. And I've been molded. I've been shaped. I've been pruned. I've been beat. I feel like I've been beat with a cat of nine tails, but not really. He just, um, the Bible say that God chastens them that he loved. So anyway, today is August 17th, 2021, and I am a Uber driver. And last week, I had the honor and the privilege to pick up a young woman named Alyssa. And I was picking her up from her boyfriend's house, which she had spent the night. She told me that, you know, she had spent the night with him. And I told her that, um... Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ had a definite plan for her life and that she couldn't spend no night. So anyway, y'all, this was last week. This morning, I'm running behind as, as not usual. I just felt like my, my steps were being ordered of God. I was trying to get out of the house at 6.30 a.m. and I could not. I started making my bed. I started picking up stuff. I just I just was doing stuff and just doing stuff. By the time I cut my app on, it was 740. And guess what? The first person that I get was Alyssa. Where was Alyssa? Alyssa was at her boyfriend's house again. I just told you last week, the Lord said you can't spend the night at your boyfriend. But y'all, this is what was funny. So on the Uber app, once you get there, they give you three whole minutes to come out because you know you done called the ride. It took me 10 to get there. Y'all, I'm just sitting there, three minutes, four minutes, five, six, seven, eight, her boyfriend finally come out, and I'm sitting there, because the Lord said, do not move, do not counsel, do not nothing, you sit right here, even if she counsel, you sit here until she come out, I'm like, whoa, Lord, so Alyssa finally came out, she did a walk of shame, she was so shame, and I said, oh, she said, um, she didn't have a mask. Oh, so, girl, because the last time I didn't have one. But this time, the Lord had me get her a mask. I had some mask in my car. So here we go again. I started talking to Alyssa about um, the goodness and mercies of God. Like, they are brand new every morning. And that she had to trust him. And what she's also doing is hindering the walk that God has for her guy friend. And she should not want to participate in trying to be a part of uh, living outside of God's will like he has a plan for all of us. So today's scripture, I do have a scripture and um, the Lord just took me straight to it. I was trying to come up with it. I was like, let me Google what um, you talk about your body parts being somewhere. So it is First Corinthians um First Corinthians chapter 10, and I will read until I will read to, till I get tired. I can't see, I can't see that good. Y'all got a brand new Bible. I can't see that good. But anyway, here we go. First Corinthians um, chapter 10. For I do not want you to be ignorant of the fact, brothers and sisters, that our ancestors were under the cloud and that they all passed through the sea. So that means that was water on top and water on the bottom. Y'all know God is awesome. They were all baptized into Moses' baptism in a cloud and in the sea. They all ate the same spiritual food and drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock that, uh, that accompanied them. And that rock was Christ. How awesome is that? Nevertheless, God was not pleased. With most of them, their bodies were scattered, scattered their bodies. The Bible is in here. The Bible say that their bodies were scattered. Now, these things occurred as examples. I don't ever want to be an example. Not like that. Now, these things occurred as examples to keep us from setting our hearts on evil things as they did. Do not be idolaters as some of them were. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and got up to indulge in revelry. We should not commit sexual immorality as some of them did. 
and some of them still do. And in one day, 23,000 of them died. Y'all, we be crying over one person. I know I do. I don't like when people die. But 23,000, I can't even imagine. We should not test Christ as some of them did and were killed by snakes. That's a little hard, ain't it? And then it also says in uh, verse 10, And do not grumble as some of them did and were killed by the destroying angel. <laughs> Now, I want my angels to protect me, but there are some, the Bible says that some are destroying. These things happen to them as examples. Did y'all know examples is in the Bible? Do not want to be one of them. And were written down as warnings for us on whom the culmination of the ages has come. So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you do not fall. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God, our God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can handle, what you can bear. But when you are tempted, when June bugs say, hey girl, what you doing? Come on over here. I can't go nowhere. When you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. So that's the end of that. So I'm just saying what God is saying. He's saying, be ye holy for he is holy. Every person that's under the sound of, of my voice or hears this YouTube channel, the Lord is saying with every temptation, he has already made a way of escape. So um, don't be somebody's example because on um, uh Saturday, this past Saturday, which was the 14th of August, well, a couple of days ago, I um, had the opportunity to go to a homegoing celebration for my cousin's roommate who passed away. And the Sunday prior, she was able to go to the altar and get it right because on Tuesday is when she transitioned. But what stands out today for me the most is every person that had that two minute opportunity to make a comment about her, every person, like every person, literally, except her family, got up and talked about them enjoying her at the club. Um, she was um, a waitress at a club called Club Odyssey. And each person in line was long and I'm sitting up there, I'm like, Lord, if one more person get up here and talk about they met her in the club and then the church like agreeing like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we can't straddle the fence. We can't straddle the fence. And so I was so tired. I was sitting there and I just all of a sudden the Lord took me into a trance. And in this church, God was sitting in the church like high. And there were these people with their backs to me. And I'm looking at them and everybody is straddling the fence like the right leg was on the right side and the left leg was on the left side. And it's like you you hot or cold. You No, no, no. You're not hot or cold. You look warm like you you love the Lord, you say, but you probably love yourself more because you're not doing what God has called and created you to do. But what the Lord, it was a trance, y'all. I can't even make it up. So the Lord is sitting there and his, his heart is broken like literally broken and each person got up. I love the Lord. I trust God, but I love the club. Like, sit down. Stop it. I was, you know, that's my word. Stop it. You love you because if you love the Lord, you will be out here trying to save souls. You can't, you can't save souls in the club unless you hold. And uh, I could talk about the club because I used to love the club. I used to love the dance party, robot, skate, I, all that. Yeah. But when the Lord called me out of the club, I had to get up and Get out the club. And then these some old ladies. I almost said broads. These some old women. I'm 56. Why do I look like going to the club? I need to be telling young women how to stay safe, how to stay holy. But anyway, before the funeral on Saturday, I went in. It's sunny. It's all day long. It's how sunny it was. I put my sun visor up on my car and I cracked all four of my windows because it was hot. And so it was 10 o'clock, like maybe 1030 in the morning. It's sunny and it's hot. By the time this funeral was over, y'all, I can't even make this up. 
when I open the door to leave, it is pouring down, raining buckets of rain. And I was like, oh my God. And I just sensed in my spirit that God was crying like literal tears for this family. And I felt that in my spirit. So I said all that to say this, Alyssa, women like Alyssa, those who are struggling with relationships, those who haven't quite gotten themselves full of the Holy Spirit so that you'll know how to say no. No is a popular answer because it is no way that you can um, love somebody and you keep doing the things that are not written in God's holy word. So I'm going to pray. I didn't want this video to be long. I just wanted to share what happened today with Alyssa. And so I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray that you will make a decision. And it's a decision. I had to make a decision. Right now I am at my, um, I'm in my kingdom spouse's house. I love it here. And actually, I don't know what God is doing. Um, another day, every day he called me with some, hey, I need you to sit there. I'm like, okay, okay, I'll just do it, you know. Um, because I can, God has a, afforded me an opportunity to be able to do a lot of things that I do not require a time clock. And I thank him so much for that. So anyway, I pray that this video um, blessed you. And, and holiness ain't popular, but it's right. That's my word. It ain't popular. Who wants to be holy? And it's hard um, being sold out to God. But it's so rewarding. It's such a fulfillment. It's such a, a, a great gift. That God has bestowed upon us who can walk it out. And now I ain't perfect. Hold on. I ain't perfect. But I'm being perfected every day in him. So let us pray. Hallelujah. Most gracious, amazing, on time God. We just come today, first of all, thanking you for brand new mercies. God, I pray for Alyssa that on, on today she heard from your holy word, God. That she heard my heart come from heaven down right into her ears, into her spirit, Lord God. And for every man, woman who um, struggle in their relationships where they cannot give you a full time, yes, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you would give them that way of escape that I just read in 1 Corinthians 10. There is a way of escape that you will give. We just have to have enough strength to take it in the name of Jesus. I pray for every person who's listening to this video, God, that you would bless them, that you would bless them, that you would give them the desires of their heart. And then, God, I pray for families and I pray for um, those who are going through bereavement at this time. I pray for Lisa's family, the young lady who we laid to rest on Saturday. I pray for my cousin, Chrissy who said it feels like a bad dream and all she wants to do is wake up. I pray for Lisa's parents, her her mom and dad, her sisters, brother, nieces, nephews, cousin. And then I pray for those in the club, Club Odyssey. I pray, Lord God, that they get saved, that they would get saved. And so, Lord God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our opportunity to serve you in such a capacity for that i say thank you i thank you for loving me in spite of me i thank you for loving our world because it could be so much worse and then god on yesterday a lot of kids started school we plead the blood of jesus over every child lord god we ask in jesus name that you would keep them safe from seen and unseen danger we are so concerned or most people are concerned about covid 19 and forgetting about the kid with a gun and a knife, forgetting about the kid who is angry and who is fed up with everything school. God, we plead the blood of Jesus over your children, over this nation, over this country, over your people and over the ones who are not your people. Lord God, we ask in Jesus name that you would be merciful to us, a sinner. And that with your grace and your amazing love that you would touch us in areas that only you, you, you know about, Lord God. And I thank you for um, this Uber platform. I thank you, Lord God, that you have given me a gift that only I can do. I thank you for that, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. 
So today, God, be glorified in everything that we say and do. And it's in Jesus' name. We love you, Lord God. I love you. I love you. I love you. Um, don't know what I could do, would do without you, Lord God. Your hand of mercy and your grace has been extended, and I'm forever grateful, and I thank you. So it's in Jesus' name. Oh, God, we make you bigger than anything. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. So good people, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will be sharing more videos. I'm, I'm becoming more um, obedient to God. It was a hard season for me to just get on here and do what God has created me to do, but I'm here, and I plan on um, having content that will only come from Him. So y'all have a blessed day. Subscribe to my little channel. It's little right now, but um, God is doing something. And it's not even about the numbers. I just want God to be glorified in everything that I do. It's in Jesus' name. I thank you for watching. Have a blessed and amazing day. And um, I plead the blood of Jesus over everything that concerns you. Amen.